Hey there, I hope you are having the most amazing day and I wanna start with a quick question right now. Do you feel a bit out of balance? Like you're just maybe all over the map. Um, if you're watching this live, it's Monday. Maybe you're having an amazing Monday. Maybe it's like you're in sales and it's your month end and you're trying to just go, go, go and hustle. I don't know, but here's the thing I do know is that balance doesn't happen as a 24 seven destination. It really happens in moments. And my name is Susan Sly and as an author, speaker, trainer, my goal is to help you have more of those moments so you can lead a ridiculously fulfilling life. So in this short, short training, I just wanna have some dialogue with you about how you can get more balance. And so last week, I was just having a week. Uh, my dad, who I love dearly, I was raised by a single dad, and I know that my hearts go out, my hearts, listen to me, my heart goes out to all the dads out there. I know being a dad, it's just, you know, you're juggling so much, and I get it. So last week, my dad collapsed, and I didn't know if I was gonna have to make an emergency trip to Canada or not, and I'm so grateful, shouts out to my mother-in-law, who was right there with him and fortunately uh, there was some error with medication they had put him on and he's totally fine now. But anyway, that happened. I had a friend pass last week. I moved into my new office. Today I'm in my home office. I'll give you a little tour in just a second. Moved into my new office. Um, had a whole bunch of life and different things going on. Then my internet went down. And then I found out with um, one of the companies that I consult with, um, something was going on there. And I have an NDA I can't even talk about. But it caused me to be like, ah! And I'm, I'm going, <gasps> I'm a balanced living expert. I'm a speaker. This is what people pay me to do. And I was out of balance. And I'm not afraid to admit it to you. If you follow my page or if you're new to this page, I, I do want you to know that, you know, I'm very transparent and very authentic. Um, I teach balanced living, but I'm not in balance all the time. I have moments. And so I sat with that and I thought, what is the opportunity in this? And I wanted to share with you my number one strategy for bringing yourself back into balance. And, and there are many, so I'm going to give you more than one but I'm gonna give you the key one. And so I wanna to get to that in just a moment. First and foremost, if you wanna hang out, connect, I have my website, susansly.com, and I also have a podcast on iTunes, The Susan Sly Project. Uh, we have many, many, many five-star reviews, and the one, my latest podcast is with one of my longtime friends, David Wood, and David talks about living an authentic life, uh, doing fear week with his son, and also one of the coolest things is I have a new game I play with my guest called Truth or Truth, where I get to ask the guest, guest any question and they get to ask me any question. So David and I played Truth or Truth. And uh, if you want to know about a story about a drone and a jet ski, you definitely want to listen to that. So that is on iTunes. If you love it, I'd love a five-star rating. Please do share it. So let me get into this one key thing. So last week I'm out of balance and I'm all over the map and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I said to my husband, I'm like, I just am so stressed. And here's the thing. Stress is the wealthy person's overwhelm. Okay, so I'm going to say that again. Stress is the wealthy person's overwhelm. So once you start making a significant amount of money in business, I'm talking like 100,000 plus, you're going to find yourself going, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. Yeah, you're overwhelmed and you need to get a grip. Okay, that's just a fancy term for it. And so the great thing is with, you know, as you make more money, you have more resources. But the not so great thing is as you make more money, oftentimes there are more people asking for your time. There are more things that are going on. So I lived into one of the things that I teach, and this is my number one strategy for you, is taking that one day off. And I know what you're going to say, oh, Susan, oh my gosh, I've heard this all before, but are you doing it? So what I do, and we went, we took the kids bowling Saturday, and there was a, there was a function, a fundraiser at one of my kids' schools, and I had these moms going, are you going, are you going? I'm like, nope not going. And, uh, you know, I donated a lot of money to the school. I volunteer. I go twice a month and I serve snacks to middle schoolers. And when my daughter was in high school at the same school, I went in and was a volunteer teacher. No, I don't need to go. It's a hundred degrees. 
I'm not dressing up. I'm not putting on fake eyelashes and makeup and going to the, the fundraiser. And I know it was beautiful, but I was tired. And so instead, uh, we had had soccer and jujitsu and all the other stuff that kids have. And instead, I shut off my phone. We took the kids bowling. And that's what we did. And then came home, poured a glass of wine, and my phone didn't go on until Monday morning. Now, I know for some of you, you're like, oh, I couldn't do that. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. One of the oldest strategies of all time, and it's written about in the Old Testament, is six days on, one day off. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian, Jewish, what you believe. I'm just saying they were talking about work-life balance thousands of years ago and we're not living it. And how many of you, you're on all the time. And in fact, if you check out my blog on Sue's Sly, one of the things I wrote about recently, millennials are shifting the discussion of work-life balance. Why? They're tired of it. They feel like they have to be on all the time. If their boss texts them at 11 at night, they're answering. If the boss texts them on Sunday, they're answering. It's like all the time. Well, I wanna create a movement of six days on, one day off, where we're not doing that. And so it starts with you, speed of the leader, speed of the pack. Teach people how to treat you. And so maybe if you're Jewish, shut it down Friday night, sunset to sunset. I'm part Jewish myself, 23 and me even told me. So <laughs> shut it down Friday night to Saturday night. Take the Sabbath, just you know, unplug. If you have the resources, maybe get a second phone and let your kids and family connect with you through that phone on that day, but you know, shut down your work phone, shut it down, go off social media, program stuff on your buffer, or if you have the Facebook business page, pre program that stuff. That's what I do. Enough's enough, reclaim your life. And so on Sunday, here's what I did. I got up early, um, five in the morning. Now I don't recommend that for everyone, but I just am an early riser. And so that's when I got up, I got up, I had my coffee, I meditated, I prayed, I took out my journal and I wrote out all of my progress for the week. And then I wrote down all of the things that I was stressing about. And then of the list of things I was stressing about, I realized that some of them are not in my control, but one of the biggest stressors was in my control. So I was like, what can I do about that? How can I have a different come from in this? And the different come from was, how could I shift the direction of that whole discussion? How could I be an influencer for good as opposed to just worrying about something? And that's what I did. So I came up with different ideas. The first thing I did this morning was I sent an email to that particular, um, um, organization and I said hey instead of doing this why don't you do this and I'd be happy to help you with that free of charge I'd love to assist you and so having that day off so I started Monday and I was on fire and I'm productive and I'm doing all those things so that is one of my biggest strategies is take that day off you deserve it you've earned it work your tail off the other days but recharge you need it you need it my husband and I I actually went to the spa on Sunday afternoon and I booked massage appointments and where I go it's very cool like you buy four get one free it's the best and they give a locals discount here in Arizona because no one goes in the summer and like even better so it's fabulous so um you know we did that we hung out with our kids I took the kids to the Avengers the new Avengers movie I'm still processing that actually it was like wow you know I don't even know what to think it was really really good if you're an Avengers fan you'll know what I mean but it was just an amazing amazing weekend and Imagine how powerful you're gonna be because if you're feeling apathetic about your sales calls, you're feeling apathetic about all the things in, in your life and your business that you wanna achieve, then guess what? Do you think it's gonna be any easier if you start Monday morning exhausted? Uh, how about heck no. So the last thing I wanna teach you and just contribute to you is this. Sometimes business changes and sometimes we have a new promotion or new technology or something and it can be overwhelming and that can throw us into a place where we feel really, really out of balance. The thing that I want to say to you and the thing I found for myself is sometimes there are going to be periods of time where a bunch of work on the front end can lead to a whole lot of freedom on the back end. And so even for myself, I use a lot of technology to create that freedom. So over the last year, I've built several sales funnels and conversion funnels. So I was actually able to monetize those over the weekends. I woke up this morning, there were a lot of great sales, which is phenomenal. Um, and to be able to do that stuff, and of course it took time and I had to take courses and do all these things. But on the back end of that, guys, that 
allows me to really and truly unplug, to get things done during the week so I can enjoy that freedom on the weekend. So with that, I hope this has been a blessing to you. Again, check out my website, SusanSly.com. If this has been great, I'd love to see your comments. If you have a question for me, post it and I will respond to it or I'll do a video on it. If this has been amazing, please do share it. And again, check out the podcast on iTunes, The Susan's Live Project. I would love for you to have a listen. I promise you, you'll laugh that like, I found out things about David. I just had no idea. Um, I promised a tour of my office. So if you stand by, thanks Jackie, I love that. Um, so. If you haven't seen my home office before, this is me with my friend Larry King at his house and uh, his wife Sean baked cookies for us. It's um, some of my friends in my networking group. Um, this is the arrow um, and this is an award I received for some work I did with World Vision in Cambodia and this is a Lou Holtz autograph which is awesome and uh, hey I'll show you a couple other things I get to look at every day um, I was involved with uh, in a project with my friend the late Bill Bartman and we were nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize so I don't know if a lot of you guys know about that and uh, there's my thing that I've appeared on CNN and Fox and all that good stuff. So that's a little bit of a visit in my office. And uh, again, I wish you all well. I wish you just a beautiful, balanced, tremendous existence. And again, if you have a question or a comment, I would love, love, love to see those. So with that, it's great to see you guys. I do these on Mondays. Um, much love. Bye, everyone.